Okay, my name's Mike Rash, along with Phil Brown. We're part of DBR Conveyor Concepts. Uh, we've got a third person involved, my cousin Chuck Dietrich. So that's the DB and R. But initially we applied for the SARE grant uh, when we first started going to the nomadic uh, harvester system. Uh, we were looking for any shot in the arm funding we could get. That funding really helped initially get an idea on the, uh, if the nomadic system would work and what we started with, it gave us a, a jumping point, you know, to get the concept there and prove that we could convey fruit from the tree into the box and do it in a uh, fresh manner, you know. So that's where the Sarah Grant was so important, I would say. It was very timely, kind of when we were spawning this idea and the uh, concept. And uh, from there, we've been fortunate to work with others in the industry and another grant and build on that, like we said, into the fourth generation from where we were at the time of the Sarah Grant. Yeah, and without, uh, without the grant, it probably would be years down the road yet uh, to be where we're at today. So. It can be used year round. It's used for, for pruning, trellising, then on into hand thinning, and then for harvesting. So actually, you'd be able to use a machine 12 months of the year, which would make the payback way better than most equipment uh, out there today that's just used for, for harvest, like the combines and that, that are only used a month of the year. This thing would be a year round thing. Right. We've got two of these out, one in Washington State and one here that we're gonna run. Last year we weren't able to run here because of lack of crop, so we took it to Pennsylvania. We ran the one that is in Washington, we ran that one in California and did peaches, and then also Northern California did pears, and then back up and ran apples in Washington, so we could get as much time and as much different uh, variety of fruit in that, because the vacuum system could be used for any round fruit as far as like uh, tomatoes or, uh, you know, any, any fruit or vegetable that's fairly round could be transferred through it. So it's not just tied to tree fruit, it could be used for basically any type of fruit or vegetable um, that would go through it, which is, takes in everything up to about a four and a half inch diameter. So, I mean, you could put almost anything that is growing through it and uh, be able to utilize it in not just the fruit industry, but in, in the vegetable and, and a lot of other things. So. Um, I think the potential as far as using it for a lot of the fruit to, to uh, reduce labor has really uh, got a huge uh, potential. Um, once you get a crew that's on it day in and day out and then also be able to run it at night, uh, I think we can, we can really reduce our labor costs as far as picking and then we're going to follow the fruit right on through to uh, to the packing shed and, and check for the bruising and that and make sure we've got everything right in line. And if that all goes good, we'll be ready for market. You can get an idea of the vacuum here. So you don't have to really visually follow the fruit, you know, you just put it in and it seeks the tube. And then you'll see it come out. And there's filtration in it that we, that's the one thing we gotta keep an eye on because if you plug the filtration, you decrease your vacuum. So, like we get into late fall where you get some hard freeze, you get a lot of leaves and litter. Well, we'll pull it out of there so it won't be going in the box. And, uh, and another plus is the apple gets a real sheen on it going through that two second ride. It's like it's buffed when it comes out of there. Um, we've harvested pears, peaches, apples, I know it'll handle about any round firm fruit or vegetable. It's got an application. As a grower, I think I would 
pick my ladder production with one machine. Then I take the liability out of it, I take the ladder work out of it, and where you quality control usually takes a dive is when you, uh, you get a lot of bruising when you're up at the ladder. You can usually get, as a grower, you can get your fruit picked any way you want from the ground, but usually you start seeing it in the box from ladders, and you knock fruit off setting the ladders, and Oh, I think it's uh, absolutely necessary because the, the biggest scare even this year now is labor. I mean, we, we've got a huge crop out here. Everybody's going to be fighting over the labor and trying to get them away from the other person. And if we can reduce our labor even by 15, 20 percent, it's just huge. Um, I think we're, we're structured to have the biggest crop just because of the size and all those plantings that were 08, 09 are peaking now, or they're, you know, getting their potential. So yield-wise, because of that big size and that volume, we're, I would think, personally, we'd have the biggest crop we've had mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. Initially, our thoughts were utilize the grower's tractor, which they own, and supply it, but the length and a lot of growers are in the mindset now they want something self-propelled, so uh, that's probably the next step is to see where that goes and marry the harvester to that as a modular unit that can be plugged off and on like this is.